Thank you. You know, I, uh, I made a, when I first got here, we made a wager that uh, who would be the first one to, uh, to break down in tears. And I was the first one to say that I wouldn't. And I was the first one to say how strong I was and everything else. But uh, as it goes to show that a lot of times when you're amongst your, your peers, such as these great athletes over here, you try to be something that you're not. And after hearing my son get up here and talk, I don't care if I lose the bet. And when you first get up here, the first thing you do is you thank a lot of people for putting you here. Because as you, the previous inductees, and I'm sure Coach Walsh will say, we're not standing up here because of our own merit or because of something that we've done by ourselves. Football is a team game, and it takes everyone upon that team to make a product such as these Hall of Famers that are sitting under this tent and the ones that are being inducted here today. And they'll be the first ones to say that when they stood up here and they accepted being inducted here, they did it with a great deal of embarrassment because you were pointing all of the acclimates towards them. And they realized in their hearts that they were teammates that threw blocks, that caught passes, that talked to them when, the, when they were down. There were high school coaches such as Charles Boston that took me under his wing and helped me, and taught me the fundamentals of football. And when I went to college, that was Robert Hill who took me there and he showed me what hard work and the determination would do if you put forth the effort and you take a little time. They would stand up here and they would tell you that everything that they had on, the, on paper and everything that they had in their hearts did not come from them solely alone, but it came from the number of people that have helped them and they've met along the way, such as I. Every guy, every offensive lineman, there are some humorous things that come to mind. One of them is my sister and my brother, Eddie Payton and my sister Pamela, because when I was growing up, I was a baby. And when they had to clean the house on Saturdays and do things, when mom went to work and said, I want this house clean when I got back, hey, I was a baby. I didn't have to do that. So these guys beat me up. <laughs> That's the reason why I had the moves that I did. <laughs> because when you have an angry sister and an angry brother chasing you with a broom and a, and a wet dish rag, you tend to pick up moves that you never had before. I want to thank them for being a part of my life and helping me to be here because they are as much to be here as I am. Also, you know, there are a lot of people that I could name, but I won't do that because when you do that, you leave out people that are close to you. And I said earlier, if I named all the people that have been influential in my life, I would be up here beyond the eight minutes and eight days. But you know, there's somebody very special, my mom, because she was the one along with my father who passed away in 1978 that instilled in me what you see here today. Some of it good and everything that's bad, I earned, I earned that on my own. But I wanna thank her for not giving up on me and keeping me close to her and giving me all that, that extra bush, push that a son needed who was very curious about life. In other words, she was the one that taught me the basics of what true value is all about. And you know, <laughs> there was a guy that was supposed to be here today to uh, to co-introduce co me, co -introduce me with my son, Mr. Jim Finks, who was, who was having a bout with lung cancer. And I want to let him know that our prayers are with him because he was the guy who gave him my start. 
He was the one who called me when I was at Jackson State University the day before the draft, and he asked me a question. He said, Walter, this is Jim Finks. He said, how would you like to play for the Chicago Bears? My, my answer to him was, Jim, I'll play for anybody. And that was the way I felt at that particular time. And I think if I would have answered that question any different than the way I did, I would have probably been playing for somebody else, maybe even Pittsburgh. <laughs> but blessings come and blessings go. But the thing that I'm most proud of and the thing that I'm most ashamed of, they coincide with each other. You saw my son up here a few minutes ago, and believe me, I had a lump in my throat that was so big, it was unbelievable. I also have a little daughter, Brittany Janae Payton, and I think about her also, because their mom was with me for those, 15, those 13 years that I played, and believe me, they were not good, because I was not the easiest person to get along with. And because of my wanting to give to so many other people, sometimes you, you tend to neglect the people that you truly love the most. And I want to stand up here and say at this point in my life that Jared, Brittany, and your mom you guys will never have to worry about anything in your life, no matter what the situation or how it ends. Because, because just as running up that hill and trying to catch runners such as Jim Brown and Gail Sayers motivated me to do more than I, than I thought I possibly could do, you three will motivate me to make sure that your lives are happy and fulfilled. I'm going to close by saying, life is short. It's oh so sweet. There are a lot of people that we meet in as we walk through, through these shallow halls. But the thing that means the most are the friendships that you meet and take along with you. I'm happy to say that everyone that I've met in my life, I have gained something from them. Be it negative or positive, it has enforced and reinforced my life in some aspect. When you, when you speak of role models, when we talk to our kids, Everybody is a role model. Everyone. Just as you look at a Michael Jordan to be the terrific athlete that he is, and then you look at a Pete, Ro Pete Rose and be the terrific athlete that he is, that then he falls on hard times. But when he played the game, he, I got something from the way he played the game because he hustled every play. And, and just because he had one mistake in his life, am I supposed to throw back everything that I gained from him? You can't do that. And I'm talking to the kids. Everybody that you meet, you can learn something from them. Everybody that comes in your life can influence your life as well. Just as these people here has, just as you have, because the fans, of what make this game. Without you being out here and coming to this Hall of Fame, it wouldn't be professional football. So I stand here and I applaud you for supporting and staying with the National Football League and these players here. Thank you.